everyone and today I'm going to be doing a video about grasper care and I haven't done one of these in a while this is because it is winter in Australia and that means no grasshoppers while well, it's summer in the upper parts of the world and that means that I'm uploading um, on grasshoppers when people don't have grasshoppers and when they do, I'm not uploading grasshopper videos. So today I thought I might do a tips and tricks video on my grasshoppers and I don't have any grasshoppers right now obviously but I will be sharing some tips and tricks on what I've learnt about grasshoppers so far and some things that I highly recommend when keeping them. The first thing that I recommend is instead of getting soil that you just like baked that you got from like in a bag I'd recommend getting some from your garden because it will already have a colony of bugs in it and when that happens it will clear all the mold from the ground and it just it's basically like a little cleanup crew in the tank so you don't have to really clean out the tank at all and it just keeps a much better and natural environment in the tank for your grasshoppers. The next tip I have is putting in grass seeds so that grass will grow for your grasshoppers because I know my grasshoppers spent most of the time eating the grass and it was one of their favourite foods and I think it's something that everyone should do if they can so if you can try and plant grass in your grasshoppers tank. The next thing I recommend is putting your grasshoppers next to a window. When I had my grasshoppers next to a window they seemed to be um, much healthier than they were when I put them on my animal shelf. They just seem to be happier and I reckon that it's healthier for them too, so I would definitely do that. The next thing I recommend is keeping moist soil in your tank. Not like really super wet, but the, the dirt has to be wet so that it can support the bugs in there if you do have them in there. And just try and spray down the tank with some water once a week or something just to give your grass up something to drink from. The next thing that you should do is make sure that your tank is big enough. When you have like a um, enclosure that is this big and you had three or four grasshoppers in there they would either die or they would become locusts. Locusts are what happens to grasshoppers when they're overcrowded and there's not enough resources they go through a ch chemical change and they become locusts which are known for destroying crops, flying away, they're much more aggressive than grasshoppers and then they don't make as good pets. Something I also recommend if your grasshopper has lost a leg it's good to feed them either some calcium powder on their food or you can feed them broccoli heads because that has calcium in it and it will help them regenerate their leg. The next thing I recommend, which I didn't do myself but I wish I did, is putting some fake vines in there. Putting some things that would hang from the top of the tank and so they can go hide in the top instead of um, down the bottom because grasshoppers love to climb. Next thing I would say to do is definitely put in dirt in the bottom of your tank. I see that some people don't do this and even though it isn't necessary for grasshoppers to live, it is really good for them to have dirt in the bottom and some natural materials as a substrate rather than having nothing. I hope this helped you with your grasshoppers and it gave you some good advice and that you enjoyed the video. Please, please, please leave some comments down so about grasshoppers so that I can answer them in videos because I'm running out of grasshopper care ideas since I've already done feeding, habitat, breeding and catching grasshoppers and now I'm doing tips and tricks. Bye! Have a good day.